Hello, my dear friends. How are you doing? Uh, I'm going for the fourth expedition to the volcano, which started now at seven o'clock in the evening. I fixed my bird a little bit. <laughs> so you see how foggy it is uh, today in Iceland. And it is because of the volcano. It's smokes from the volcano or I don't know what it is, but it's like covers almost all the Arakinus Peninsula, this um, smoke or, or fog or mist, I don't know how even to call it. It's obviously from the volcano because the closer I get to the volcano, the, the more of this uh, smoke there is. So it's a kind of strange. You know? It's reaching like 50 kilometers around the area where I live even. Very, very strange what is happening. I have my bike with me, as you see. I didn't uh, wash it, it's still uh, <clears throat> in mud from last trip, but it's okay because it's going to be dirty again, so. Something wrong with my car, something. I have to fix the wheel and the back wheel, something went off there. And um, driving through lava fields now, very little traffic. It's Iceland. There are no speed cameras on this road. You can drive whatever speed you like, there is no police. <laughs> But I don't recommend you, you just have to stick to the rules, I'm joking, but I just tell you that Iceland is a paradise for drivers. And very easy to drive through Iceland because um, <coughs> of little traffic and no jams in Iceland. <laughs> but uh, in winter it can be very windy here, that's the thing. In winter it can be super windy. And also icy. There are even days when this road gets closed. Today I will uh, take the normal trail or trail A. I will see. Uh, I have got a bit sick, uh, but already recovered it. But I was a, I had a cold. I think I picked it up from my sons because I had a cold and like some virus that makes you feel dizzy a little bit. I don't know what it is. They covered a lot, and I was also sick a little bit. But now I'm better, so I'll make it. We are passing by a place called Herdi Sarvik. It uh, was a home to Icelandic poet here. He used to live here in isolation. A famous Icelandic writer. There is this, there is a, there is a house next to the ocean. So you know this road, it's nothing to tell, special, because I always drive it. <laughs> so we keep driving to the volcano. Trip number four started. 